Hello, Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to a new video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm gonna explain you what Clover Configurator is, what Clover UEFI is, what Clover UEFI bootloader does and how to get started with a Hackintosh. So basically I've been making Hackintosh from last couple of years and now I will explain you how to make them for your day-to-day -day use or for your professional use or any kind of use so this video will be centric on what you have to do right after booting into the Mac OS X for the first time for example you install the Mac OS X in your SSD or hard drive from a USB drive and for the first time you boot it into your system and you require a bootloader in your system to get rid of that USB to boot into the OS X so the first thing you have to do is you have to download Clover. So you can download Clover from different websites. The version which is the latest one is, let, let the system check, it's 3974. So we will write Clover 3974. The second link will be sufficient. Click on that and download the Clover. Once the downloading is complete, you can open your Clover. So if we are done with our downloading, we will open the Clever Configurator. We will open the Clever UEFI Bootloader. We will double click it. And now what you have to do after opening it is you have to click continue, continue. And here in customize, customize you just click it. And you have to select the first two options. Install for UEFI Bootloader booting only. Install Clever in ESP. ESP stands for EFI System Partition. Then you install the Clever RC script on your target volume install all RC script on all bootable and install Clover preference panel after selecting these four or five options you will click install you will add your super password it will mount your EFI partition automatically and then we will wait for it to install once installed what you have to do is you have to download Clover configurator as well you can download the Clever Configurator from the same website. Just write Clever Configurator this time. Once the application is downloaded, just double click it. So this time the EFI is mounted, but if you have installed Clever Bootloader in the previous boot, your EFI would not be mounted. For that, you have to go to the mount, just ignore this, mount EFI, check partition and and here find the hard drive in which your OS X is installed. Just check which disk it is. So right now this is the disk zero on my system. Click mount, select disk zero. Okay, add the super secret password. And you're done with the mounting. Click the home button and click the config.plst. So this is your config.plst. And here we will do the basic modification in your config.plst to get your system working after removing the USB. The first few things you have to edit is if you know the max and min speed of your system then you can just add the min multiplier and max multiplier. Most of the time min multiplier is always 8 and max multiplier depends on the most fastest frequency of your CPU. For example if your system turbo boosts to 3.8, 3.4.6 6 or anything you can just mention that here. You can click the generate P states and C states. This works completely fine if you're using a Haswell CPU. You can just click generate P states and C states. Enable seven of, uh, four of these. After that, you can go to the boot. So in this video, I will explain you the boot section in little detail. And in the next tutorial, I will explain you what boot section can do and what things we can do with the boot section. So the boot section is the most important section of Clever Bootloader. It will help you tag some of the boot flags for your system to boot with. The most important boot flags are nvd underscore drv is equals to 1, cac slash dev slash more is equals to 1, rootless is equals to 0, npci is equals to 0x2000 and npci 0x3000, cpus is equals to 1, dart is equals to 0 and slide is equals to 0. So what these boot flags does, they specify what your system will start with and what settings it will adopt when it will start for the when it will be in the startup like right after the BIOS what the Clover configurator will do with the Mac OS X to boot it up so if you're using an NVIDIA graphic card of any series greater or equal to GTX 600 
you have to use nvidia underscore drv is equals to one after installing the nvidia cuda drivers and nvidia web drivers these are the two drivers you require cuda drivers and nvidia web drivers after installing the drivers you have to click the nvidia underscore drv is equals to one to enable your graphic card the second two options are very important and you always have to select them text slash dev slash mode is equals to one and rootless is equals to zero this boot flag allows unregistered unsigned text to run on your mac os x the text which are not signed by apple so this helps hackintosh get its best compatibility with some non apple official text the second one is rootless is equals to zero it have a link with the booting up and kernel permissions these are the three most important boot flags then come the cpu s is equals to one this is required if you're having a kernel panic or your system does not boot properly or there is an error related to cpu just select it and try to boot again so dart is equals to zero is for intel virtualization it enables the intel cpu virtualization for better multi os usage then npc i is equals to zero x 2000 this one is sometimes required for compatibility and running of cpu properly so this most of the time helps but most of the time makes no difference then here is the verbose minus v minus v this is really important if you are making your system problem free for the first few days like for example you install the os x and after in the first few days you might encounter some of the problems so you must enable minus v which is verbose which will display everything the os x is going through when it is booting up so it will give you a detail of any error it encounters while booting up so this is very nice and one more boot flag you can use is minus x minus x means safe mode sometimes the system does not boot in the normal mode you can use the minus x mode to boot into safe mode to enable or disable few of the kex you might have mistakenly enabled or to delete some of the kex you don't need that might be causing an error then here is the section which is default boot volume when for the first time you will install the clever configurator here the time will be 3000 the last booted volume would be something like mac or it can be macintosh so this will be the one of these two options will be the first values you will find here. All you need to do to make your OS X the default boot volume is to write the name of the drive in which your OS X is installed. Mine is installed in OS X. So I can just write here OS X and the system will automatically boot into it every time the clever loads. Here is the time out you can set for how long the clever bootloader stays in its user interference and after this time it will boot into the os x so you can just write 5 10 20 for that time being the clover will not start the os but will remain in its into user interference until unless you press any key to terminate it so what happened if you have written zero here what it will do is that it will initialize the os x right after the clover gets loaded so by this there will be no delay but if you want to get into the clever uefi if you encounter any problem with the os x you can press any key right before the clever loads the os x by this you get the goodies of the both sides you can use the G clever gui at any time and you get no delays in loading the os x what happens if you select minus one minus one will will terminate the loading of a uh, clever gui by this you will not be able to boot into the clever by any means you have to get to the os x disable this and after that you will be able to get into your clover this does not makes any great improvement in loading time but this makes the system very risky if you ever get any problem you won't be able to get into the clover fast makes no difference as well fast is same as minus one then the fourth option is debug debug is a process in which clever debugs the os x for any errors which are related to the loading of cax or boot flags this is sometimes very helpful then there is a couple of different options custom logo never hybrid no early progress and these are mostly not so much useful here is another option last booted volume what it does is that if you're doing dual boot, you can directly go to Windows from here. 
you can click the startup disk and from here you can directly boot into the windows os if you have selected the last booted volume then this will help the club load windows or OS X from this interference but if you will write the default boot volume permanently for your hard drive then this startup disk function will not work so that's why I've used the last booted volume instead of my making my OS X drive the default drive so this is all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you understand it and if you have any question related to Clover configurator please feel free to ask below in the comments I will try my best to answer it as fast as possible if you want to learn anything else related with Clover UEFI or Clover Configurator or OS X, let me know in the comment below as well. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.